welcome to this week's post of my eco buzz i'm jessica gregory now this time of year a lot of animals in michigan are snoozing away the winter or have already departed for warmer weather but the months of january through march are actually prime time for owls now owls don't wait until spring to find their mates and raise their young. In fact, a lot of them already by mid-January have located their nesting sites and by now might even have eggs in their nests that they're sitting on as well. Now, the owls that we're most likely to come across here in central lower Michigan are the barred owl, the eastern screech owl, and the great horned owl. So, I want to tell you a little bit about how you can go out and um, do a little bit of owling for yourself and maybe even come across one of these awesome creatures. Now, owls are what we call crepuscular, which means that they are active during the um, early morning and right around dusk. So it's right around dusk right now, and I'm standing at the edge of a upland deciduous forest, which provides the shelter that the owls need for um, their nesting sites and um, to keep them safe from predators as well. Um, but it borders this field, which is also near to some agricultural land. So in addition to having the shelter of the forest, um, this is a really good place for owls to do their hunting because their primary food source is gonna be the mice that inhabit um, fields and meadows like this. So a uh, really good location um, to look for owls but it doesn't have to be out in the middle of the country. Um, you could find owls anywhere, um, even in suburban areas, as long as they have um, those basic needs, the shelter and places for their food. So I've been standing here listening in the woods for a few minutes and I just heard the call of a great horned owl, which is kind of your typical hoo 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 sound. Um, the other owls that you're likely to hear would be the barred owl, which has a, a distinct call that sounds like it's saying, who cooks for you, who cooks for you all. And then the eastern screech owl call sounds kind of like a whinny. Now, I'm just listening for it again. Um, if you get lucky and you happen to hear more than one owl at a time calling back and forth, um, you can actually tell sometimes which is the female and which is the male. Um, because the female's calls tend to be a higher pitched, so that's kind of a fun fact. Um, a couple of things to keep in mind too as you um, maybe go out on your own owling hike are just to um, be respectful of the animals if you do come across them. Keep the noise low, keep your light levels low, and um, try not to disturb them unnecessarily. Um, these are, oh, I just heard Great horned owl, check it out. I'm gonna post a link on the My Eco Buzz page so you can hear what the different calls sound like, but that was really cool. Okay, so anyway, just, just be respectful of these creatures because they're beautiful and we wanna keep them around, they're awesome. So, um, if you get out and you can have a chance to take a hike, I'd love to hear about your experience. So please share on the My Eco Buzz Facebook page if you um, see an owl or you hear an owl or you just get out on a walk and get to enjoy being in nature. I'd love to hear about that too. So, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna go listen for this owl some more. Happy naturing.